Hi, I'm Bruno Sonino, I'm a Delft developer since the first version and today we are going to see how to open and create Word files with Delphi. Today we are going to see what's the open XML files. Uh, the open XML files are the file format that's used by Word, Excel and PowerPoint to store the data and we'll see what are they, what's their format and how we can create and use them. Then we'll get their file properties, create a simple Word file and create a complex Word file. So let's go. Here I have a Delphi project that will open uh, the, uh, the open XML files. Open XML files are really uh, zip files with a special format. If we go here and open a file, for example, this one with a zip manager like 7-zip, I can see that uh, the file is really a zip file with a content types file, then a rails folder with a rails file, then a word file with uh, some XML files, and some folders like media, team and rails. So we can open these files with any kind of component that can open zip uh, files. And in Delphi we have the tzip file that can open these files and then process the XML files with the txml document. With these two simple documents, two simple components, we can open and process these files. So, the first step we'll do here is to open the zip file and then enumerate the files that are in the zip file. We open and here we have all the files that are in the zip file. We have, uh, most of them are XML files, but we can have the image1 PNG file, the, uh, the WMF file for the thumbnail, and we have special files like this Rails files over here. But most of them are XML files. Then we can get these properties. Initially, I will uncomment this code here and comment this code here. And what this code does, it reads the Rails file and then <coughs> it goes to the Rails file and tries to find one with the attribute core properties or extended properties. If it finds ones, then it will read this file and add all the values to a value list editor. So we can take a look. We will open the same example.doc. It have it has four relationships and we have here one for the core properties, docs doc props core XML, and one for the extended properties, doc props app dot xml this one uh, these two files have the, the properties and then we have a thumbnail wmf and the word document when we enumerate the properties we can see the creator is bruno the last modified br by is bruno uh, it's created in 2007 and it's modified in 2007 it's template is normal dot dot M, and it's uh, it's created with uh, the version 12 of Word. So we can get all the properties just by opening the, the doc file and processing its um, uh, XML files. And we can do the same thing to create a, sim a simple file. For example, I have here this project, this second project, create word. It will create a simple file. It will take whatever is uh, typed in the in a memo and will add it to the 
to the word file and how this is done. Initially, I create the content types, then I create the relationships, and then I create the document. To create the content types, basically, what I, I must do is create the, the, the content types relationship for relationships and for the document. And the relationships. The relationships show what I am using then. I'm using the document dot xml and the document by itself is very simple it has only uh, i have the body i add a paragraph i add a run a child a text node and then i add the text with these three files i have a simple word document if i run this project here i can Hello, Code Ridge. And I create this document. If I go here and take a look at the sample file, it will have this Hello, Code Ridge uh, text. Very simple. And we can use the same process to create a more complex file. And how do we do that? To create a more complex file, we'll create the same content types, the same rels. We'll create a new rels file in the Word uh, folder to give the relationship between the document and the header file. And we have here the document and the header file. With these files, we can create a new document with a header. And we'll see that we will use many fonts in this uh, document. So let's see what's uh, the, 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 the parts of this document. The content types will add the same uh, ones as the the simple one with one more for the header so we have a new content type for the header then we create the relationships the relationships for the main file are the same for the simple one because we didn't change anything but we have to create a new one for the relationships for the document because the document has a relationship with the header so we must create a relationship the with the document and the header so we created with this doc rails that we will save under the word uh, folder then we create the document the, to create the document we're going to uh, loop to, through all the fonts in my system and we'll add a formatted text we add this formatted text that will have <coughs> the font name and then the text the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog using this font then we'll set the page format this the page format will add the child the header and then we'll set the page to landscape the header will be very simple it has three texts the first one left aligned the second center align and the third right align that has the page number and that creates our uh, word file so we can create it and then take a look we have here the complex document it has many lines, many paragraphs, each one with a different font, with the font that was selected, and the, the same text, the quick brown fox, uh, with the many fonts. We have here the head, 
and we have the page number that changes for every page. So we can see how we can create with two components, the tzip file and the txml document, a word file and we can use the same process to create also Excel and PowerPoint files. If you want to know more, you can go to GitHub, my GitHub and get the source code for this project. If you have any doubts, you can send me an email. My name is Bruno Sonino, sonino at revolution.com.br. Thank you very much.